bed. Good boy. We really need to change this dolphin bedding before it's Christmas. Hey, Milka. Good girl. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday the... I should really know this. 20th? So it's like so, so close to Christmas. And the Christmas tree's been up for ages, which is so organized for our family. Mum has been putting up the little Christmas decorations. This little cookie thing. Hey, look at that. I love snow globes. Today's video is gonna be a vlog and it's gonna be filled with lots of food because I wanted to show you the basis of how you can go about making a fully vegan Christmas dinner, how you can home make it. We did it last year, we made a nut roast, but I'm also gonna give you ideas as to where you can just buy ready-made vegan things that you can use just in case you're like running really late and you don't have all your ingredients so that you can have a fully vegan Christmas dinner which might be quite hard for some of you out there if you're trying to be vegan in a family who is completely non-vegan so I just wanted to help you out in that way um, we might also go out and do some grocery shopping and food shopping and no Christmas shopping so I'll probably take you guys with me last minute idea number one <laughs> So this is cranberry sauce and it is from Aldi. There you go, Aldi. It's really cheap and to be honest with you, we bought this in advance so it's not really last minute. I'm not gonna home make everything and stuff and cranberry sauce is just so much easier to buy in a jar. So I've got this ready. I literally love cranberry sauce. I think I should have it throughout the year because it's just so good. I haven't really decided what we're gonna be doing for dessert yet. I'm still working on that. I saw this cheesecake recipe the other day and it looks so good. I'm not gonna make mince pies as well because mom knows where she can get them. So basically mum hides things in the kitchen all the time to like stop my dad eating them. I don't know if anybody else's parents do that. I don't know where she's put them. Not that I want one, but I just wanted to show you because we actually got some. So I don't know where the mince pies are. Mum went and bought them from Asta. Yes, they're vegan. Yes, they're cheaper than the normal mince pies. So I would definitely recommend going to get them from Asta or find a recipe, but I'm not gonna make them personally. But yeah, I'm excited for Christmas day. And it's all about food, really, which is good. So here are the mince pies that mum got loads of packs of. This box doesn't actually say vegan on them, and the ones with the new packaging say vegetarian and vegan. So Holly's gonna try mince pie. Oh, over the plate. Mm. Try again, try some more. It's okay. Like mince pie. They're a bit overrated. We're gonna go shopping now to get the stuff we need to make stuff this evening. So we need the buckwheat flour for the brownies as well as the nut roast, which is quite good. The cacao powder or cocoa. We have cocoa. Should we just use that? We don't have cacao powder. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Mum, cocoa and cacao are different. Oh. Yeah, like cacao nibs, the bitter ones that you don't like. Oh, no, no, no. Cacao powder. <laughs> What, we've got dark chocolate chips? Yeah. Oh, we can put them in. <laughs> How many four bills have we got stashed in there? Three. Three four bills. <laughs> well done, Mum. What else do you have in here? Oh, stashed. What does she stash in there, Yaya's? Mm. Oh, are we gonna make lots of stuff today? Yeah, lots of food. <gasps> No, I don't think we need those in the brownies. <laughs> Do we, or yours? Oh, no, we don't. So we're going to Tesco today. I should actually be driving, by the way. You can't be doing that as well. <laughs> no. I should be driving because I can actually drive now, which I forget. But anyway, this is my Ben and Jerry's voucher, which I got during term time because I won this competition thing. Well, I was a winner. So I got this free Ben and Jerry's voucher, so I'm going to go and get one of the vegan ones. And I think I'm going to get the peanut butter one. I don't know what it's called, peanut butter and cookies or something. Because that one looks so good. And I put my hair in spice buns as well. Because my hair just looked a mess. Cinnamon buns. <laughs> We've been looking at so many recipes. Mum thinks they look like cinnamon buns. Tesco's finest clementines are very Christmassy. 29p. Oh. Alright, next. Yep. Do we want any of these potatoes? 29p barking. Oh, and parsnips, Mum. We can get parsnips here for 29p. And Brussels. Yes. 
10 kilos of rice. This is Ollie's heaven. Did you get it? No. Yeah, rosemary, black beans. We'll have some harico. I don't know how you say that. Harico and pinto beans. So we just found these things, which are accidentally vegan. Smooth or crunchy? Smooth one. One of those. We found some better value clementines. Literally one of my favourite things. This is where we get all the cheeses from. Soft cheese. You've got it. All the juice. Yogurts, milks, more milks, creams, and custard and desserts. They are all vegan. Hey mum, saving us making the cheesecakes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> mum picked blueberry ones and this cheese and this cheese. Freezer free from range. If you're stuck with what to do for Christmas dinner and you don't have time to make anything, there's lots of choice here. Peanut and avocado burgers. <laughs> and this is the only one that they've got. It's probably £5.50. I thought it was Yomu. I get it for free. Yes. So it is time to start making our nut roast and it's a little bit worrying because mum has left me and she gets really worried when I'm left here doing stuff on my own in the kitchen, especially in the kitchen because mum is quite protective over the kitchen. But here we go. Holly's going to do it as a one man standing job. So we've got everything prepped. Basically mum helped me prep it just before she went out. So this is a replacement for an egg. You can use chia seed or flax seed. So I'm using chia seeds. And it basically makes this gluey kind of texture, which is what you want. You should start by preheating your oven, which is done. Then I've got some garlic in here, which I'm gonna fry off first with some water in a sec when we get going. And then this is what is gonna be added to the pan as well. So we've got some a mix of dried fruit. So this is dried apricot and some dried cranberries. This is a green pepper, leek, mushrooms, and carrot, and it's all just been finely chopped by moi. I did the apricots and cranberries in the food processor just to speed it up. You're right, Star. I've got the nuts, obviously, which I've just using almonds and Brazil nuts. You can use any other nuts that you want. You can be creative. Those were the only nuts we had today. Oh, and we also need spices. So we've got oregano, nutmeg, rosemary, which we got some more of today. And we're also using oh, some fresh sage and oh, our poor basil needs watering, oh my goodness. This is what it's gonna be put in. You don't wanna put the elastic band in the oven. This is just to like keep the baking paper in this molded sort of shape before we put it in the oven. It's quite a good hack, actually. This is an adaptation of a recipe that we made last year from, I think it's from Deliciously Ella, but it's been adapted slightly and it is delicious. Hopefully it'll make sense in the description box because you probably won't understand things as we're going along. So we need the spatula, that would be a good idea. Literally, this oven scares me so much. Frying with water, you just keep adding water when it looks like it's drying out and it doesn't stick to the pan. Whoa, too many bubbles. So we're just gonna add our veg. And the dried fruit all needs to go in the pan so you like start to fry it. Oh, that's not chopped. So this is our very colourful looking pan and then here are my herbs which I'm gonna add. Ooh yes. Doo -doo -doo. I forgot how good this smells. You can only smell it if you try and make it yourself. Okay so I've now left that over there to cool and now we're gonna like pulse the nuts so that they are not completely flourized or turned into a flower basically. You want it chunky and texturized. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like something like that is okay. Bit chunky, bit not chunky. That's all right. Basically, everything then gets combined into this bowl, and then we squash it into this pan, and then we put it in the oven. Here is like the texture you see of the chia egg. It's like really sticky and gluey. I'm gonna add this to the bowl. One hand strong. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh yes, look at that steam. So the key now is just to like mix it really, really thoroughly. Last time we did double this recipe. Wait, why didn't, there's no buckwheat flour. Oh my gosh, oh my god. Okay, so we've added the buckwheat flour. That was literally so close. The ingredient that we bought in summer, ready for Christmas, I almost forgot about. Now you just push it down. Oh, not like that. Oh yes, look at that. So now it's just gonna go 
in the oven for 50 minutes. Just remember to take the elastic band off. Okay, so I'm also trying to make a dessert kind of thing. It's not very Christmassy. What do you want, Burley? What do you want? He's hungry. Shh, wait a sec. So I'm making these chocolate peanut butter brownie things. It's not really Christmassy, as I said. It's not really traditional, but we felt like making them. We saw the recipe online and we were like, hmm, let's try and make those. From my bowl, Caitlin, it's one of her recipes. It looks really good, so we're gonna try it. We've got these kind of ingredients. So we're using buckwheat flour again. We're using cocoa powder instead of cacao powder because we don't have that. Um, fruit syrup instead of the rice malt syrup. We're using some peanut butter. We should really be using the powder, but I'm hoping it's gonna work with just like liquid peanut butter, but we'll find out. Black beans, which we got today in Tesco, and these are like chocolate chips, dark chocolate chips. So, Burley, get off. Gosh, this is what happens when you're cooking. Burley, with a hungry cat, get down. I'm trying to cook, get down. Burley, you don't like black beans. Please, get down. And then I'm combining everything in the food processor. So here I've got the chia seeds. Oh, I didn't say chia seeds, but we need chia seeds. The flour, the agave, and then the cocoa powder. Oh, yes. This texture though is so good i kind of improvised with the sauce because we didn't have like peanut butter powder and i decided to put dates in and it didn't blend looks but good. it looks quite good <laughs> Woo! is it gonna be good mm. so here it is people the nut roast but we haven't like made a proper roast on the side he's, he's like what were you cooking up ollie nut roast okay let's get it out ready yeah ollie. oh Look at that. Moist, yeah, it's quite moist actually. Probably oh, good. good. Let's get them close up shots. <gasps> yeah. We didn't make a vegan Christmas dinner, as I said. We're saving that for Christmas Day. But Mum found this gravy that she's gonna do. It's vegan. So you can make gravy, or you can just get this stuff, which is really easy. And then we will do on Christmas Day, like obviously roast potatoes, roast veg. I don't know what else. Cranberry sauce, we need to get the cranberry sauce. Oh, that food. But yeah, our main event is definitely the nut roast. Is that good? We also had our brownie that came out. I don't know if it burnt a bit, but. Mmm. So good. The date sauce thing made it like caramelly. Look. Does that look good? Or does that look good? Mmm. I think it's good. The sauce is good. Mmm. You're right, Mr. Burley. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed like coming around grocery shopping with me and my mom. I hope you got some Christmassy kind of meal ideas to try and some inspiration for that. In the description box, I will leave the recipes that I tried out. So the nut roast, I will leave that down below. I'm sorry I didn't make a full Christmas dinner. I just thought it would be nice to just show you the nut roast. And actually the brownies, I was going to say, they, it sounds weird to add beans to them. At first you're like, beans and a brownie but actually they make the texture so moist and so much like a brownie you can hardly taste the beans at all i think next time if i do it i will add some more agave or something cocoa or cacao to make it a bit sweeter and a bit chocolatey a bit more chocolatey but overall it was really good and the nut roast again was literally amazing but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video guys and i will speak to you in my next one please like it if you did comment wherever you want down below and yeah subscribe if you're new around here for videos every week um this is a christmas themed video so i may as well say merry christmas or happy christmas to you guys now enjoy that one day that comes around really quickly every year and goes by in a flash. Bye! Say bye. When I said that the nut roast was the main event for the Christmas dinner, I think the sprouts are. You've got to have sprouts for Christmas dinner. This sprout tree is almost better than the Christmas tree. Right. You have to eat sprouts, and if you don't like sprouts, make the Christmas 2017 the year that you enjoy sprouts, because I literally love them. Mm -hmm.